good to see you. Um, we'll talk to you about this weekend. This Sunday story is a lesson about the calling of the disciples, the first followers of Jesus. And as we, as we look at this story and read it, it's interesting at how natural it plays out. It's not some kind of a, um, a forced or a faked or a, or a nervous expression. It's like two friends talking about something that they're excited about. I'm sure you've shared something that you're excited about with a friend. Maybe you go see the, the Star Wars movie and you go to the, you say, man, you gotta see this one. I mean, politically, I thought everything in this one, you gotta see it, it's a great movie. I saw it and it is a great movie. Uh, so so, so I, I, I recommend you go see it. If you're a, a, a science fiction fan or a Star Wars fan, you gotta go see this latest movie, it's great. And that's kind of the way these early followers of Jesus and Jesus himself were about sharing their faith. Sometimes we get so nervous about sharing who we are with somebody that may disagree with us that we try to live in a bubble. We're going to talk about the Christian bubble. Maybe we need to get natural with who we are as people of faith. In the um, um, traditional worship service, we're going to sing Rescue the Perishing. In the modern worship, there is a video clip. I can't wait to share this with you. It's just a short one, but it's called The Christian Bubble. And I think you'll like it. It's going to be an exciting Sunday. Can't wait to share all that with you. We'll see you Sunday. Why was the archaeologist, okay, archaeologist, mm -hmm. why was the archaeologist so depressed? I have no idea. He got out of college and realized his whole career was already in ruins. <laughs> get it? I get it, yeah. His career was in ruins. <laughs> yep. And he just started. I mean, yeah, just getting started. <laughs> Depressing. Hey. We'll see you Sunday. Yeah. Maddie, did you like that one? Here's went up. Yeah, I like that. <laughs>